Clothes in Spanish, Vocabulary, Adjectives and Prices Hello, in this video you will learn how to talk about clothing in Spanish. We will cover the vocabulary for clothes, la ropa, in three different sections and will show you how to create simple sentences and questions to describe clothes with the verbs lucir and ser plus adjectives and how to ask for prices. This video also includes several useful phrases and questions for conversations about clothes in Spanish. Let's begin. A list of common clothing items in Spanish. Prendas de vestir. First, know that we say la ropa, meaning clothes in Spanish. Let's see a few items. El pantalón. La camisa. La camiseta. La ropa interior. Los calcetines y los zapatos. Let's say them again. Pantalón, camisa, camiseta, ropa interior, calcetines y zapatos. Creating simple sentences about clothes in Spanish. To describe clothes in Spanish, we often use the verbs ser and lucir plus an adjective or several adjectives. First, we put the subject, in this case the clothing item or prenda de vestir, then the verb and finally the adjective. If it is just one item, then we use both verbs in the forms es or luce. For example, el pantalón luce nuevo. El pantalón luce nuevo. La camisa es celeste. La camisa es celeste. If we need to describe more than one item, we use son or lucen. For example, los zapatos lucen cómodos. Los zapatos lucen cómodos. Los calcetines son muy grandes. Los calcetines son muy grandes. Ok, it's time for the second set of clothing items in Spanish. La blusa. La falda. El vestido. El pantalón corto. Los zapatos de tacón. Y el sombrero. Let's go over their pronunciation again. Blusa. Falda. Vestido. Pantalón corto. Zapatos de tacón y sombrero. Clothing styles and designs in Spanish. There are some adjectives we often use to talk about clothes in Spanish, especially for styles, designs, and sizes. For style, estilo, we can use clásico, casual, moderno, a la moda. For patterns, diseños, we use floreado, sencillo, and de puntos. For size, talla, we use the phrase de talla plus a simple adjective like pequeña, mediana, grande, and others. We use the verbs ser and tener to make sentences using these words. For example, la blusa tiene un estilo clásico. La falda tiene un diseño sencillo. El vestido es de talla pequeña. Notice that for style, we use the phrase tiene un estilo plus an adjective and for design we say tiene un diseño plus an adjective too. We can replace tiene un for es de. For example, instead of saying la blusa tiene un estilo clásico, we can say la blusa es de estilo clásico. The verb usar in Spanish. Usar is another important verb for talking about clothes in Spanish. It means both to use and to wear. Usar is often used in gerund form as usando, after the verb estar following this structure. Yo estoy usando, plus a clothing item. Tú estás usando, plus a clothing item, and so on. Here are some examples. Yo estoy usando un sombrero. Ella está usando zapatos de tacón. Estamos usando pantalones cortos. Here are three examples of simple questions with the verb usar. ¿Qué estás usando? ¿Qué piensas usar hoy? ¿Qué planeas usar para el evento? Here is the third set of clothing items in Spanish. El suéter. La chaqueta. El abrigo. El traje. La faja. Y la gorra. Let's say them again. Suéter. Chaqueta. Abrigo. Traje. Faja. Y gorra. Talking about prices in Spanish. To ask and say prices, we use the Spanish verbs valer and costar. We can ask, ¿cuánto vale? 
plus a clothing item or ¿Cuánto cuesta plus a clothing item? Here are some examples. ¿Cuánto cuesta el suéter? ¿Cuánto vale el traje? ¿Cuánto cuesta la chaqueta? We use the same verbs to give prices in Spanish. You can add the clothing item at the beginning of the sentence if you want. Here are some examples. El suéter cuesta 20 dólares. Cuesta 200 euros. Vale 100 dólares australianos. Important phrases and questions for clothing in Spanish. To give your opinion about la ropa, you can use these phrases. Me gusta. Me encanta. No me gusta. Creo que es. We use a question, ¿qué opinas? To ask for an opinion. And, ¿te gusta? To ask if someone likes something. Here are some examples with these phrases and questions. Me encantan tus zapatos de tacón. ¿Qué opinas de esta camiseta? No me gusta. ¿Te gustan mis calcetines rayados? Sí, son bonitos. We're done. We hope you like this video. You can learn more with the main lesson. By the way, do you want to subscribe?